The signs of economic stress are becoming ever more apparent. It doesn't seem like there's any indication that this will be able to be put away by simply printing money. They'll certainly be able to push up stocks with this crazy policy though. Devaluing the currency is an easy way to make a grand mistake with public encouragement. People will applaud their own demise if they're told it will be beneficial. It's quite sad that we've stooped to this level, but here we are. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look at the Baltic Dry Index, we're going to look at the Cass Freight Index, and show you several others like that as well. I got many charts to get into. We're going to talk about what's happening in the global freight industry because this is a very good telltale sign of what's to come. It gives us an indication of what these businesses are up to, what they're thinking, how they've been reacting to the news, how they've been dealing with prices, whether that's through the imports or exports, it gives us some insight into what's happening globally, geopolitically, and ignoring it is simply a big mistake. Let's begin by taking a look at the Baltic Dry Index. I covered it just recently and you can see what has occurred over the last few months. It has really come down quite a bit, sitting at 1,090 points. This is going to fluctuate up and down, but definitely over the last few months it has been contracting. If you go back previously, you will see that it had a big run up and largely this was due to a lot of corporations expecting that there would be in increased tariffs and you see of course in September when all of the tensions started to ease this declined completely in conjunction with it that is not a coincidence this is clearly cause and effect Baltic index falls to over a six month low as vessel rate drops. If you are doing any sort of importing, you better be asking what the prices are. Update your prices with your suppliers because the prices have dropped and you can get that information. Show them that Reuters has documented the fact that the prices have fallen. The Baltic exchange main sea freight index continued its losing streak on Monday, falling to its lowest in more than six months as demand across vessel segments dropped. Just like in any other industry, there is supply and demand. And if there's not enough people shipping products, suddenly that less demand is going to create an abundance of different vessels in need of moving products. There's just a couple points I will note in here, but ultimately if you want the details, you can look into it for yourself. The main index was down for a 14th straight session. The K size index dropped to its lowest in more than six months and all of these down here are just showing you similar stats. This chart here is just trying to point out what's happening with the front running of the tariffs. They were trying to get all their product in before those tariffs took effect and as soon as they saw the tensions easing this declined as a result. There's no denying that this occurred. Take a look at the Baltic Dry Index performance over the last few years. I think it's important to note that this is extremely weak. It's not a coincidence once again. We're watching this over and over and over again as they make their mistakes economically. The issues are being presented at a time in which they cannot afford it. We have seen the stimulus measures from everything from QE4 to the interest rate going on globally right now things are weak they need everything to be 100 perfect or we're gonna have some serious issues this right here is just one indicator it's the baltic dry index some say that it is the best indicator in this particular sector but regardless it's just one of them if we look at any one indicator it's not gonna be the holy grail and it tells us everything no of course not but it is extremely important and really tough ties in a lot of other information. US to China dry bulk rates for soybeans and you can see that this has declined quite a bit. The peak was seen in July as well as September and it has fallen ever since which correlates to the data I showed you a moment ago. 
And here you're noting the Brazil to China dry bulk rates for iron ore. Just showing you here that this doesn't really have anything to do with what's going on in Brazil or the US. It's China. They are experiencing food inflation. They really need to get a handle on this. And they have actually increased their imports from Brazil, Argentina, because they really need to diversify right now more than ever as the tensions heat up. This is comparing the Baltic index, that's the black line, with the ISM manufacturing PMIs, and it's just suggesting the potential, the potential that something could go wrong here if this trend continues. That's not a very good thing because of course, it's already looking very weak. The economic stats look extremely weak. There are a few that have come up a little bit in 2019, but the stock market on the other hand has just gone up in a straight line, particularly particularly after suffering such a terrible fourth quarter in 2018. This is just one I thought was interesting. I wanted to show it to you. This compares the S&P 500 with the Baltic Dry Index, also suggesting something very worrying. In my opinion, it's loosely connected, so I don't pay too much attention to it. However, I simply think it's worth noting. The cast freight index shipments, both the shipments and expenditures components of the cast freight index remain down from their peaks in May and September of 2018, respectively. They're trying to tell you here that things are less bad than they were, therefore that's good. They say they're bad, it's just gonna bottom out and we're gonna go up from there, it's so fantastic. But this shows you that not just one indicator of freight, but so many are looking weak. And you can't blame it on the trade issues between the US and China. That really isn't the case. There is a slowdown globally. We have seen growth slowing down all over the world, and yet the stimulus has been at a record high. ACI World reports on disappointing October cargo figures. Airports Council International World, the representative body for airports around the world, has reported that the retraction in the global air freight industry continued in October, with volumes falling by 2.9% year on year across the world. I just want to show you the fact that it could be coming from any direction. This could be happening in any type of freights. So you can't blame it on a certain aspect here it's all over the place the global trade barometer index score for the next 90 days above 50 indicating positive growth below 50 is the decline the index here is sitting at 45 that is contraction and this is dhl and simply just another indicator that gives you an idea of what is going on with this particular sector they made a point here that i wanted to bring up to you china's gtb outlook score has fallen in 30 of the last 34 months to hit a new trend low of 42 in November, led by a minus two point drop for air freight and a minus four point plunge for China's ocean shipping outlook. This happens to be one country, but again, I've shown you so many others that I think are truly important for us to be paying attention to. U.S. steel to idle Zug Island plant leading to 1,500 layoffs. I do believe I've covered this previously, but wanted to show you what's going on because certain industries are really getting hit hard right now. Whether it's to do with what's going on between China and the U.S. or not, I really don't think it matters. We're seeing serious issues popping up all over the place. This is Celadon. I showed you this one as well. 3,800 employees, suddenly jobless, a big trucking company, and now they're one of many to be completely out of business. Surely there's problems within the company, but just giving you an idea of what's going on. All right, now switching gears really quickly, wanted to give you an update on what's happening, the weekly change in the S&P 500. Take a look at that trend. My goodness, it's intense. When you compare it with the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, it's so accurate. And the higher we see the balance sheet go, the higher the stock market can be forced up. If they decide not to print any money that week, maybe because of the schedule, maybe just the way it works, the 
S&P 500, according to this chart, should go down or at least should be much, much weaker than what we've seen previously. I'm obviously going to keep an eye on it and will bring you any relevant info. Out of all the charts that I've shown on this channel, this is my favorite one, Global Liquidity Proxy compared with the S&P 500. Just take a look at this. Every single time I see this chart, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how far they can take this and how correlated this data is. Come on, you can't deny it. If you want to know what's going to happen in the stock market, keep an eye on the printing press. And then last but not least, I found a little bit of humor, wanted to bring it to you. Apparently there's a rapper named Blueface and he went into Skid Row and was throwing money in the air and they were gathered around his Mercedes SUV picking up all the dollar bills. You should definitely watch the video. I thought it was funny because this is the helicopter drop everybody's waiting for. That's all for this video. If you found that informative, please hit that thumbs up button. When you do, you're supporting this channel, so I do appreciate that very much. If you want to learn how to build a business, how to make money, passive income, I teach you step by step for free, 100% for free in this e-course. Check it out at the AmazonGPS.com. If you want to learn about the financial history, the information that was not taught to you in school, I teach it absolutely simply in these two books. You can check them out at the link in the description. If you want the audiobook, that's available at themoneygps.com. Wait a second, don't go anywhere. In 60 seconds, you will learn exactly the direction of the stock market. Click this button and I will see you there.